so today our topic of discussion is strict two phase locking and up to the last lecture i have explained other locking protocols including two phase locking protocol and now we'll discuss strict two phase locking while myself dr deepas divora presenting you the lecture series on dbms the first phase of strict 2pl is same as 2pl and you all know that the 2pl <coughs> protocol works in two phases that is actually including three steps procedures okay but here the first phase will be same as 2pl after acquiring all the locks in the first phase the transaction continues to execute normally but in contrast to 2pl strict 2pl does not release a log after using it strict 2pl holds all the logs until the commit point and releases all the logs at a time so guys you please note down that in case of strict 2pl it is different from 2pl in one sense that the strict 2pl does not release a log after using it it holds all the logs okay all the logs will be hold until the commit point and releases all the logs at a time so acquiring phase is same the logs are acquired gradually okay so it is same as two phase means one after another the log will be acquired okay so the curve will be <coughs> will not be in the shape of a straight or perpendicular or particular line that is uh, means you know <coughs> same as the 2pl but in this case you have seen the logs are not going to be released gradually it means one after another that in the case of 2pl we see that the logs are released one after another but this is not the case here here all the logs will be released after commit and at the same time so you can imagine that the curve is of course a vertical line to the horizontal well you can see that the curve is this one i hope now this is clear see log acquisition phase is same as 2pl this is not a vertical line you see there is a means angle that is not of course 90 degree with the horizontal as the logs are acquired gradually one after another like that okay but when the execution stage complete on the tata items then it is going to release all the logs at commit so as all the logs are released at the same time of the commit so this is a vertical line to the horizontal line and you see horizontal is denoting our time so guys please frankly tell me whether this curve is or whether is this graph is clear to you or not in the comment if you find difficulty to understand this graph then obviously i will again explain it but please don't skip it okay let me know that whether you have got the concept behind this graph or yes or not okay please comment it so i am repeating again log acquisition phase one after another so that is the t begins with transaction begin log acquisition phase started and this is as it is uh, mean same as 2pl means as it is a gradually acquiring the log so the curve takes this form then this execution phase is on the the item and then the logs are released at the same moment after commit so at same moment at same time suppose this is 3 pm or suppose this is 3 15 pm so as all the logs release at say 3 50 pm so you can imagine that the curve is a vertical line to the horizontal that is a t n so why this curve take this step now you can imagine it or you can understand it clear 
So you can write in your own words that how this curve is actually being taking this shape. Well, <clears throat> one point you should notice this strict 2PL, as I have said, that this is this comes out to be a stricter version of 2PL. So it is not going to have cascading abort like 2PL does. Okay, I'm repeating again, strict 2PL does not have cascading abort as 2PL does. Please note that. So that's all for the strict 2PL classes. Now, I suppose that you have got this. And the question for today's lecture is that, what is the advantage of using strict 2PL Okay, then 2PL means what are the advantages we can have by using strict 2PL which we may not have through 2PL. Please answer this question by comment. And let me meet you in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.